Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from quantum mechanics and that was from gate 2023. So this is again a very nice problem. So you can, uh, let's, let me just discuss this one. So this problem is mainly for the Fourier transformation, but uh, this is one of the simplest problem you can have. But yes, calculation have to be there, but without calculation, you can also do it. But if you know the what is the basic character of Fourier transformation, let me explain all this thing. So there is a state psi x is given. So if this state psi x is given and it is given as some value m when x is between minus a to plus a and zero otherwise. So if you are going to plot this particular psi x, then this psi x is something like this. Okay, so this is something like this. And uh, out of four, so this is psi x versus x actually, psi x versus x. So, and uh, what we have to do, we have to just uh, plot the function, that is, we have to plot the function mod phi p square versus p. So obviously, first we have to write phi p and then take it mod square and then we can easily plot it. But we all know that when you have a step kind of potential or this constant uh, function, then its Fourier series will be something like sine x by x kind of, cur of curve. And uh, out of four options, you can easily take it. But if even if you have not this much of mathematical intuition, you can easily solve this particular problem by using the Fourier transformation. So let me calculate the whole thing. And uh, the whole story is very interesting. But before that, we can easily normalize this particular thing. So normalization, we can do it by minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to one. The thing is very simple. So my psi x, the normalized psi x is equal to one upon root two a when we have x is between minus a to a and zero otherwise. So we deliberately normalize our function because we can avoid some silly error. Okay, so it is much better that always uh, we have to normalize the function anyway. But now we have to just uh, write the wave function in a momentum space. When we are going to write the wave function in a momentum space, that will go from minus infinity to plus infinity. And this is psi x e to the power minus i px upon h cut dx. And there is some quantity that will be 2 pi upon h cut such that we can make the thing dimensionally correct. Okay. So now we have to do this integration. And when we are going to do this integration, then phi p will be 1 upon root 2 pi h cut. And we have to go for integration that is from minus a to a because we have to integrate with x and psi x is nothing but 1 upon root 2a and e to the power minus i px upon h cut dx. And here this p is constant. So we will integrate with respect to x, then everything will be function of p and h cut and obviously the parameter a. So and it is a easy problem because your psi x is just a constant. So this will come outside the integration and you have to just do this integration. And this is where one of the simplest integration you can ever do. But when you will do this integration, then your phi p will come out something like h cut upon pi a root under. And that value is equal to sine p a upon h cut. So this will be sine p a upon h cut upon p. So you can easily do this integration. And uh, obviously, if we have to, and if this will go from minus infinity to plus infinity. The p will go from minus infinity to plus infinity. <clears throat> and uh, this is your phi p. And when we will take mod phi p square, so this mod phi p square 
is equal to h cut upon pi a and we have sin square p a upon h cut by p square and when we will plot it the plot is very simple the amplitude is just vanishing with 1 by p square this is your sinusoidal function and amplitude is vanishing 1 by p square so it is sharply decreasing so this is very important so yes we will start and when p is equal to 0 this will be some constant value so because sin p upon p p tends to 0 we have some constant value so when you are going to plot this one so this is this has very high amplitude initially and after then it is just going to very fastly okay just going to very fastly something and this is symmetric curve so this will be your pi mod 5p square upon p square and sorry mod 5p square versus p so this is your answer and i think the option c is correct one so forget about option c a b d the thing is that you have to just do this concept the concept is very simple you have to whenever you want to go from one space to another space position space to momentum space or momentum space to position space you have to do the fourier transformation and when you have to do the fourier transformation the real challenge is doing the integration so i will just suggest you do this integration with yourself in spite of that this is very easy and if you want to do this type of problem you can just follow the griffith and i think this is a solved problem example this is solved problem and that is 2.6 i think so but you can just check this is solved problem in griffith but <clears throat> you have to do with yourself if you have nice concept thank you